Hey, what is going hey, on, guys? guys? It, is, it is Friday. So what does that mean, Mel? It's another episode of Millennial with Bill and Mel, right? What's yeah. going on, guys? Hopefully you are having a wonderful Friday so far. Uh, hopefully you had a really good week, right? It's that first week of September, right? And so uh, everything's changing. Pumpkin spice is out and I'm throwing up already. <laughs> 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 so, so that's funny. a great segue to talk about what our topic yes, oh. today, right? And what we're going to be talking about today is pet peeves, right? Our top five mm -hmm. pet peeves. This is work related. This is, you know, just in general, pet peeves. And so we all know we all have them, right? And so, but be, before we get into all of that, right, go ahead, make sure you comment who you are, where you're from. We'd love to to give you a shout out, right? And also mm -hmm. make sure you're commenting today. We want to know your top five, <laughs> yeah. top, right? So if you have a pet peeve, let us know in the comment section. We'll definitely bring it up. We'll talk about it. If it's not one of ours, uh, we, we'd love to talk about that too. But um, but yeah, like I said, you know, we're here. We're here to yell. This is a great topic to yell about today, Mel. So how are you doing? How has your week been? It's been going, you know, I, I, each week it gets busier and busier here with, um, with work and with things going on. So it's almost back to like a normal C in a sense of this madness of my work schedule. But, um, I am glad it's Friday, but I have, uh, I was just saying to you too, I have back to back to back to back things here going on. And one of them is probably a pet peeve that we'll be bringing up, but, um, you know, glad it's the weekend and, and it's labor day already right we're used to having what beach trips and uh and barbecues and all these things going on so it's it's definitely time is flying by but um but good and busy and and ready to yell today yeah no i mean i'm the same way uh i'm actually today going to the beach so oh, that'd be fun. Um, yeah so me and me and megan are definitely gonna head that way here in a nice. little bit so We'll definitely be there, but um, but anyways, like I said, let's let's talk about it, right? Pet peeves. I mean, there's just like just when when you brought up this topic, right? I like my blood started to boil just peeves, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like like just the things that just like no matter what type of day you're having, just always seem just to get underneath the skin, like and just irritate the daylights out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you feel about your pet peeves, but like I like I could like I feel the back of my the hair on my neck is standing up because I'm I'm re I'm ready to yell. So <laughs> yes, yes, it's funny. I thought it would be good because you know I do think that we have talked about a lot of things going on, especially even with you know during COVID, and I think that there's a lot of things that um, you know there are tensions tensions are high and whatnot, but um, but you know it, it some of these things came up, and I thought. Wouldn't it be fun to get on here with all of our fans listening and have them add to many of our pet peeves <laughs> and yell about it? So. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, guys, if you're jumping on right now, make sure you're dropping your pet peeves in the comment section. Yes. We want to know. Uh, I'll be checking the other things that we're on too, just to see if there's any comments there. But um, you know, let's 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 start with you. What is your it's not in any particular order. Give us the first pet peeve. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with you. Oh gosh. Okay. So I, I obviously have ha have had some going on. Um, I'll start with an. I'll start with a um, with it with an easy one here. Um, I I have one of chewing really loud. <laughs> let's just start with an easy one, right? Just throw it out there. Um, and I, I've had that forever and they actually have said things like with people who get annoyed by loud chewing and gum and, and chips and, um, and whatnot, um, that has always been something that's bothered me, especially in public. But I, I, I brought that up because really the one that I want to talk about is like not being considerate of other people and your surroundings and, yeah. um, and like, you know, it could be, it could be an example of, of people, and I'm not out as much in stores and whatnot, but like having conversations with people on speakerphone or <laughs> while you're in the store next to them. So it's kind of, I think that there's a lot of examples for it. 
um, you know, when you're walking and you're just kind of not, not even caring that there's people walking behind you and you just stop and you do this. So it's like being considerate of other people around you. <laughs> is, that a good, is that good? Oh, that's an awesome start, one. I, a good start. I that I hate when people like, you're like, like you're trying to eat lunch. Right. And it's just like, they're like, sit next to you and they get the phone on speaker and like, I don't want to hear your conversation. Like, right. You know, or, or like, how about this? Like, it, this is not one of my pet peeves, but it, you, you've spurred it. Right. When people are like, cause you're talking about being inconsiderate of other people's, you know, around you. Right. Like <laughs> when, like if you're sitting at a di dinner table, right. And somebody comes to order, like the server comes over and you're sitting with somebody, you're sitting across from somebody and they're like trying to talk to the server and trying to talk on their phone at the same time. I'm like, bro, just put your phone down. Say, Hey, right. give me three seconds. You know, right. I'll have the salmon. Okay, great. Go back to your right. phone. Like, that does drive, drive me up a wall when I see that. Yeah. And <laughs> you know what? There's so many, there's so many things that, fall under this category you know <laughs> like i i've i've had it where even with headphones so i have obviously um uh my christmas gift was my airpods here but um even when we used to have the obviously people still use like the bose speakers and the headphones um i i remember being on the train and going to back and forth in philadelphia oh my gosh 10 15 years ago and I, you know uh people are listening to their music and they're sitting a couple rows up and you can hear the music. It's so loud. And and do they not know that it's that loud or they just have it that loud? But you, if you don't have your own air, hair, uh, earphones, like I'm earbuds here. If you don't have your own, you can't drown out theirs yeah. <laughs> the whole way. Like, yeah. I had to get up and move sometimes because their, their music was so loud. Um, even when they had headphones, it was like defeating the whole purpose. I could still hear their whole, yeah. <laughs> the whole yeah. thing. Oh my God. Yeah. That, that's it's already so funny. You know, uh, there's a, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you've seen this cartoon at one point in your life. Uh, family guy, right. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Oh there's my God. Yeah. I used to have watch all of them. So there was an episode where Peter is like a, a, a newscaster. Right. And he was, he had this segment that was like, what really grinds my gears. And it like, oh, yeah. what we should have named this segment was, what grinds my gears, right? And so um, I guess my first one, and it's probably like, and it, like just thinking about it just boggles my mind. It kind of goes in line with what your first one, like being inconsiderate of people, but on a way different disgusting level. And it has to do with people washing their hands when they go <laughs> to the bathroom. See people That's a good one leave the bathroom and don't wash their hands. I'm like, that tells me a lot about who you are as a person, right? Like in well, my- Yeah, crazy? and especially, I first of all, I always wash my hands after the bathroom, of but course. it's funny because when you're in public, everyone, yeah, I mean, everyone else can see that. So you're, you know, it's like one thing to do it at home, but when you're in public, people are watching that. And then they, you come out and you're like, that guy didn't wash his hand. You know, that like, I went in and that girl didn't wash her hands when she came out, right? And especially if they're working, well, obviously, yeah. They're working there. They, yeah. you know, they yeah. have to, but um, well, I mean, like, that's big because you can't hide it. You can't. <laughs> you can't. No, it's terrible. Like, like I mean, it. Like it just. Like I actually confronted a guy. Like <laughs> really? I was washing my hands and like he was at you know the urinal doing his thing and walked by. I was like, oh, he's gonna stop and wash his hands, and he just went to go grab the door. I was like, bro. And he's like, what? <laughs> said, You're not gonna wash your hands? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, what do you mean? What do I mean? Like, did do I did I speak a different language that you didn't understand? Like, are you not gonna wash your hands? He's like, what does it matter to you? Yeah. I said, you're about to go shake somebody's hand, right? Right. Or do something that touch. That, yeah, something that somebody else is gonna touch and could get. You know what his, you know what his pet peeve was? People, you calling him out for not washing his hands. <laughs> probably. probably. That's his pet peeve. But I was doing my civic duty, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, to help help America. Um, right. Like it, like something else that stems, and you brought it up, like when, like if you're like in a bathroom situation, right, and you see somebody come in, and from for those that don't know, I spent years working in the hospitality industry, restaurant, so like washing my hands is like ingrained into my soul. Like it's not, like it's not a non-negotiable. Yeah. Right? And yeah. I like I have seen 
some crazy things where I've seen like cooks like walk into like it's actually a health code violation to do this, but mm-hmm. walk into uh, the bathroom with their freaking apron on. Like they use oh, food yeah. and go to the bathroom. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Like, are you going to take that off and like get a brand spanking new one? Because like, if not, I need to go somewhere else. Right. Like and this- there could be, there could be so many pet peeves and gear grinders, right. in the restaurant industry, I'm sure. I mean, you know, I, I, I waitress and all that. And there could be, Oh, there could be a whole nother millennia yelling just about, just about restaurants, right? I'm sure. Oh my and like, God. Yeah, like from a from, customer, from the cut. Yeah, from a customer standpoint <laughs> and from a worker standpoint, right? It's like the 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 yeah. I mean, we we should definitely do that because that there's a lot of stuff that grinds. And the bartenders have their own have their whole other um, pet peeves of of when you know and and just at the bar in general and drinks and. Um, you know, oh God, it, that would be hilarious. But it yeah, was. I um, I think it's I, I think it's funny when people are witnessing these things. Like, did they not know that people are watching them? Like, I think too. Uh, like, yeah, like I every time I see it, I'm just like, I just literally like want to put my fist through the wall when I see that. Like, it's just like instantaneous like anger level here. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, so. But moving right along, right? So washing. So newsflash: if you're around me, just wash your hands. Make sure you don't. Make sure you don't piss Billy off. Yeah. So uh, that's why I was ready to yell. So, but what (laughs) got you moving right along? You're next. Uh, So that brought up a good one. Like, you know, obviously in public, and I think um, that some people have a pet peeve. I'm sure a lot of people with, with PDA, I, I'm not too, um, annoyed, you know, not, not too, um, annoyed or, or upset about, you know, some PDA here and there a little bit is it, when it's excessive, obviously it's a little too much. It's like, that's not appropriate. There's levels of, um, you know, what, what, what is too much, but when it comes to that, it's one thing we, I think we all know the levels of, of, of appropriateness. However, I, I find sometimes when you're out in public and there's people who are, um, like verbally like talking down or ill to their like significant other or their friend or like, you know, I mean, usually it's in a relationship, but I think when, when, you know, people are blatantly rude (laughs) to their, their significant other in public, it bothers me because I think that, you know, it's, if they're going to do that in public, just think of what they're doing behind the scenes or obviously it's happening behind, you know, I mean, you'd think it would be happening behind the scenes too, or it could be even worse. And it makes me uncomfortable watching sometimes where people are, um, you know, putting somebody down or being disrespectful, whether I know them or not. Um, I, you know, I don't know. Have you seen that? happen or been around it even strangers i mean i've been uh, random strangers like i almost want to say like oh run you know like i want to like look at the girl and be like uh run quickly (laughs) yeah no and like uh, on the same lines yes like i'm not a huge like you know public affection guy like uh, hold the hands fine right yeah every once in a while it's fine but like when you see that couple that's like groping on the bus like like, (laughs) guys like like this is is a little excessive here they don't (laughs) wait till you get home (laughs) yeah don't you know we passed plenty of hotels on the way to to (laughs) you could have stopped by now right um but yeah like and then like i have seen couples like just like I could never imagine that. Like I always am like, if I want to argue with Megan, cause I mean, when you're a couple newsflash, you're going to argue from time to time. Um, mm-hmm. But like w- we take it offline, right? We, we move out of that situation because we understand that not everybody wants to be a part of that situation. And mm-hmm. who wants to air out their dirty laundry in front of like a bunch of people. Right. right. You know? But another thing that goes along with that, and you know, I might ruffle some feathers here, but it is a pet peeve of mine. Uh, it's going along with yours. It's not in my list, but like when you see like a parent disciplining a child in a manner that's mm-hmm. probably not the best for the situation that we're that you're in in public, that's right? A good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, 
and you get to that point where you're like, you know, that's not a situation where Billy's stepping in and telling them about his pet peeve, like on the hand washing situation. Like, I'm like, I need to get out of this area because I, I can't, I can't sit around and watch. Right. It. Right. So. Right. Sure. I mean, because there's only so much you we, we can really do or step in and say, like, yeah, I think that there's things that when there's it's things that are happening, sure. And, you know, but at the same time, oh, I like the little look the, at that. the little flowing down at the bottom. <laughs> Tell us about your pet, pet peeves, guys. <laughs> Type so so that we can chat about it. Um, but yeah, I, you know, that gets into whole nother realm of getting into people's business it's it's hard when to not say something sure but i think um I, i've seen a lot of uh stuff with the parenting sure in yeah. good and bad ways <laughs> like, yeah. yeah to uh, say the least um but yeah it's just just the overall like the idea of just like the pda and just like the public displays or not even affection right just downright right all the other stuff that goes into it can definitely be. Yeah. Um, I think one big pet peeve I have, and it kind of goes, you, you talked about it a little bit, like the earbuds. It drives me up a wall when I'm driving and I see somebody with earbuds in or headphones. Oh in. yeah. Like, it's in it. It's kind of illegal. I mean, yeah. it's, it it's is. illegal. It's got yeah. to be. If it isn't, it has to be like, if there's anybody that's a lawmaker on here, <laughs> do you know? Is it illegal? <laughs> I think it is. It is. Um, it is definitely a distraction. Um, it, it. It's. I would think that if you can't hear, I mean, especially with the noise canceling ones now, yeah. if you can't hear a, um, a, an ambulance or a fire truck or a police officer, or I feel a little uncomfortable walking around with these things. That I, sometimes I can't hear if somebody is coming up behind me, let alone driving. If there's a tractor trailer squealing its wheels gonna ram the back of me yeah. um i yeah i mean is do you think it's because it's they don't want to hold their phone you know what i, I mean like up or they don't have the bluetooth they don't have the bluetooth or what, what? Where, where it's 2020 what car you know that it was <laughs> in the last five to ten years doesn't have bluetooth capabilities like well i think i think there's people that even have those things i've seen i, I see do. it here and there they and they have them on um i could see having one of these in for a phone call um maybe so that it's a little bit um it's not as distracting as sometimes the car but with music i just i guess i don't get it because i would just put it in my car speaker but yeah i i don't understand it like i'll never understand it there's not an explanation that somebody could give me that would make i think me you can get in trouble i think if a i think if a police officer saw somebody with headphones on driving i think that it's a it's an like i don't want to say an offense but i right i mean from what i've heard i don't know no, i mean i saw a guy today today as I was driving, I was actually coming from Life Moment Candles uh, and uh, delivering some candles. Um, but anyway, good, good. I was, uh, I, I was uh, there was a guy in a brand new Lexus, and he had like big ass headphones on, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like, what is going on here, man? Like, the like Sony is probably like you said, noise canceling, and I'm like. Right. That car is like worth sixty thousand dollars, and you you you're not use you can't use your Bluetooth like or at least your freaking because you know if you have that type of car you probably have some earbuds right so like. well, well yeah and it's I think it's just dangerous right I mean in a sense especially if they're noise canceling I think it's I think our the idea is that again be aware of your surroundings <laughs> being sure that you uh, can see and can hear. Um, everything that's going on while you're driving, I, that'll probably lead into one of my pet peeves, but um, <laughs> if you're, if you're ready for it, but no, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready for I, 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 I think, I think when I'm driving, I've got, I, I, I obviously am an, a big proponent of, of not driving slow in the left lane and using the left lane to pass. I think most of us were taught this um, yeah. and different States are different and there's definitely a lot of different, cultures and a lot of different, you know, things between men and women and ages and fine. But, um, I get, I, I definitely am somebody who, um, is, is usually more an assertive driver. Um, I, you know, I'm not aggressive. 
<laughs> I have a need for speed, okay? But I I do. I think when when you're when you're coming up behind someone and you're supposed to be we're supposed to be using our rear view mirrors. We're supposed to be using our side view mirrors. Um we're supposed to be being aware because if a if a if a cop is coming up behind you with his sirens on and you're not looking in your rear view, you're not going to be able to move over. So I think it goes along those lines like we were saying with the distractions of of the the headphones you're not going to be able to see things that are going on and i think with driving i mean you're operating a vehicle <laughs> this is such a safety hazard when you're not using um and I, I don't know is it people they don't care they uh they weren't taught a certain way they i don't know i mean you, you see me coming up in your rear view mirror if you're looking and i have to get sometimes i don't get close like trust me i'm not going to be um that but if if you can kind of go like this and go hi i'm here <laughs> you know like for so long you can get pulled over for that i have seen 100 percent uh cops state troopers pull over as they're just driving they get into a cluster because somebody's going slow in the left lane and i've seen literally people pull over pulled over because of them driving slow in the left lane so yeah it's, um, it's impeding the the progress of traffic or, or I don't know how they specifically word it, but that, yeah, I mean, I am probably not as a lead foot driver as you are, but uh, I understand what the left lane is used for. It's used for passing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hate, uh, you know, along those lines, I do hate when people just like run up on me, like, especially. No, I don't do that. I don't do that. Right lane and they run up on you. Like I'm ready to fight. Like, cause <laughs> Oh, if they're I'm, passing on the right? No, like if I'm in the oh. right lane and like there's obviously like a clear like path on the left mm -hmm. side, like, hey, I'm doing the speed limit or a little bit above it, right? And then you ride up on me, especially in a truck, like, oh, I'm ready to like. <laughs> oh, did, sounds ready. a little bit. This is yeah. a very specific incident that happened. Oh, yeah. Um, well, no, like truck. Well, I drive a, a smaller car, right, lower to the ground. Uh, you know, you when you get those big trucks that get behind you and they get yeah. the the halogen lights and there's like you can't mm -hmm. see anything especially at night the new right? ones. yeah they're oh great yeah and so yeah i mean but yeah like you said it it just goes back to common courtesy and 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 being aware of your surroundings like yes like i have been in the left lane before i see somebody moving up on me quick i'm like okay i need to get over right because yeah yeah this person's in a hurry yeah, or we're gonna we're going to speed up and get over. Or we're going to slow down and get over. You know, we're not going to just chill there for 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I think it's not about, I just think it's, it's uh, like you said, knowing, knowing your surroundings and kind of, um, it causes traffic in my opinion. I think yeah. when people, you shouldn't, you should not be breaking on the highway. Like, right. We should not be oh having God. to break. <laughs> Terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> we should be, there should be, so that's why in other countries, I think, um, not to get off topic, but I think that there's there's a lot of um, easier driving in other countries of how we're taught yeah. here. But well, don't worry, guys. We will post a picture of Mel's car so that you know what it looks like when when she's coming up on you. So don't laugh, don't <laughs> laugh, because I was in an accident a couple of years ago because I was following a little too close. But what happened was a chain reaction. It was Ooh, somebody yeah. three or four cars before had actually slammed on their brakes and it was then they slammed then they slammed and then i hit them um they actually hit the car in front first and then i hit them um and it was bad uh it was it was bad i mean i was okay but my car was not yeah not um, not up to but i have after that that was probably like four years ago and what was funny was um i i have not I, i've changed my ways i think because of that incident um and i wasn't you know, I wasn't, it wasn't reckless and it wasn't that it was just, I was obviously just following a little too close, but, um, luckily it was, there was other people that were kind of doing the same thing, but, um, but I have, I have changed my ways of driving. Um, I don't drive as much and I, I, I not in a hurry as much either. I give myself more time and I'm not as, um, as hectic. I think that's what sometimes causes us if we're late and we're rushing and we're speeding. Um, I found in the last year, year or two, at least, I just, I don't have that feeling of 
needing to get somewhere so quick because I'm not as rushed anymore, you know? Yeah. I was just thinking about it. It might be off topic too, but like, have you ever seen those dots in the road? Like when like they had these big circles and you're supposed to keep like a dot between you and the next car. Have you seen those before? For technically, is that for like speeding for a no, cop no. to see that mm -hmm. if you're, oh no. No. So the, those are lines. Like they'll have like a line, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll have two separate lines, but this is like, Cause like, well, cause what reminded me of it is like on the way to the beach t today, there's a specific road through gap, Pennsylvania. I don't, okay. I don't mm -hmm. never, you know, I just know of it cause we go through it, yeah. but there's a very specific part of the road where they have these like big white circles and they're like at least two feet wide and they're separated by like a, maybe like a hundred yards or something like that, or a little less than a hundred yards. Mm -hmm. And like you're, and there's a sign that says, stay within the dots or something like that. And so, <laughs> I mean, right, like, right. I guess it's to keep them from tailgating. So, but, um, but yeah, I guess, I guess my next, um, my next one is one of my biggest and Megan does it to me a lot. And she knows that this just runs me up a wall. Uh, <laughs> when people cut you off, not in traffic sense, but when people cut you off in mid sentence, um, or mid thought, like it literally just, it's always irked me. Um, I don't know if I just notice it more because it is a pet peeve of mine when people cut me off, but like, I understand like having normal conversation, like people butt in and stuff like that. But like when you're like, everybody's quiet, you're mid thought, right? You're going, you're talking. And then all of a sudden they just cut you off and they talk about something completely yeah. different. And I'm like, Oh you yeah, know, I'm not like, done. Like what, what's, like what like I'm, i was talking here like you didn't right. really finish well and i think too that it's funny because when i you know when when i'm in conversation with um some of my friends this is funny because this has come up with what with some of my friends <laughs> actually <laughs> funny but, um you know we gotta watch what we say here no i'm kidding but, um, <laughs> but it's funny because when you're in a conversation with somebody and you're listening like you're equal most of the time i mean i talk a lot and you know i, I think though I have friends, I, mean, I have a lot of energy, but uh, I, you have to learn to listen. You have to learn to let other people, you know, talk. And there's there's always, you know, when I'm with certain friends, it's it's a consistent, um, you know, you're back and forth. You have to you have to really stop and let let them answer, and then you know, kind of go back and forth and have this. And it it, it almost goes back to that whole thing of being, you know, aware and considerate of other people because, in a sense, it's it's interrupting and kind of changing the subject is, is, is selfish in a way that you're trying to, um, you know, whether it's not just carry the conversation, but, um, but it came up recently with, with my best friend and I with, with, uh, with someone that we know, and it's just, it, it, it it's, it's hard because you, it sort of is, you're going in all these different directions too. And somebody comes in and like you said, they just sort of come in and they think of something that they want to talk about, but it has nothing to do with your conversation, you know, and you think of a conversation that flows and you're there and, and maybe when you add multiple people to the mix, it definitely <laughs> makes it worse. But, um, oh my God. but, just about but it. yeah, I, 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 I definitely, um, I definitely feel you on that one. Um, yeah. But since you, I got to go. And so this is funny because you say we brought up Megan. So I'll throw Alice out there. So I have a big pet peeve of, I mean, I, I, I don't like clutter. It wouldn't be a pet peeve, but I don't like when people don't put things back in their place no. and everything has, everything has its place for a reason so that you can find it when you go back to get it. And uh, maybe it's a little OCD and anal, but um but I am a visual person, so I do like, you know, th not having everything around. But what is funny is you'll go, something will come in the mail, a package, and Alex will go and he'll get the scissors out of the drawer and he'll open it up and he'll leave the scissors and the little envelope there and then go somewhere like to whether it's like to put the thing somewhere or go upstairs and come back down. And I always joke, I go, nope, I go, oh, no problem. Um, I'll put the scissors away, you know, or like joking around. And he goes, I was going to do it. You know, I was going to come back down and do it. And it's funny because there's, it's more like, it's personality. And I'm sure people who are more OCD like me, but I, I learned to do everything right away. Like put it away. You know, you take it out, you put the scissors, you know, you, you use it, you put it back. Um, because my, my thought process is like, but it takes 
10 seconds like to just you know you open it and then you literally turn it around and put them back in the drawer and throw the trash away before you even go upstairs you know and we battle on that it's so funny because i think half the time he does it just um because he knows that it bothers me you know but um but that's something it's just like leaving stuff around um it, yeah you're gonna come back to it but at the same time i think i'm going so fast that i'm like just put it away real quick but oh man me and alex have a lot in common because i <laughs> <laughs> i am that that you guy leave stuff I, around oh um, my God. what i get mad about is if i leave something of mine out like if i have some kind of paperwork or something like that that i because oh, I tend, to, I tend to forget things, right, sometimes. So what I'll do is, like, especially, like, if I'm leaving to go do something, I'll put it next to the door so I remember to take it with me, right? And, right. and like, I'll come back, and it'll be gone. And I'll be like, where the, <laughs> where did that go? Yeah. Like, or, like, if I, like, leave my wallet. Like, I, I tend to leave my wallet in the same place, and if it gets moved, I'm like, Moves. You don't know where it is. Where no. is it? It's completely lost. Right. I get that. I, I, yeah, I do it. Like I do that too. Cause I'm just like, I just want to tidy up and clean up. But, um, but it's funny because I, I also, you know, watch, we watch our parents do things and we watch, um, you know, how, how they are and how they react to things and how they communicate and stuff. And, um, you know, it's one of the things too, that I, I tried to do is, uh, like I, I did say like, Oh, don't worry. I'll put the scissors away. Like, you know, that passive aggressive behavior. I'm obviously that that's not who I am, but my other thing is I just, I would rather do it. I don't know. I mean, it's getting off topic, but I would rather do it and just put stuff away um, than complain about it in a sense. Um, I know it's another topic for another day, but I um, just take it upstairs. You know, like I just see it. If it's there, I'll just take it upstairs. That's what we do. We're, we're a team and we're, uh, you know, we're here to help each other out. And I think that um, it would be a pet peeve of mine for the people that, um, you know, complain about why that thing was on the steps instead of just taking it up themselves and not saying anything. <laughs> so that would be a pet peeve. I mean, hey, I mean, like I said, I am the guy that puts the things on the steps and not take it all the way up up the stairs quite yet. And the but whoever goes up next, no big deal. You just take it up, you know. Yeah. yeah but you if know. you walk up and you don't take it, what is that? Is that a pet peeve? Yeah, if I, you I walk get, right by it. Yeah. I mean, I can understand. This might be a male but, female thing. Come on. But it's not, I mean, it might be. But, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm it, sometimes if it's not mine, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like if it's, if it's hers or something like that, I'm like, ah, she'll get it. And, 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 you know, because she yeah. has specific place for it, I guess. I right. mean, that's, I like it. I like it. You know, I like the intention as well. I didn't take it up because I didn't want to put it in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Alex. There's your excuse. <laughs> I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to put it where you wanted it. And I, actually, that would like really mess with my head because I would be like, actually, I kind of appreciate that. <laughs> like I do all the laundry. Don't give him any excuses. Like I do all the laundry at the house. Megan does the dishes. Like I hate doing dishes. She hates doing laundry. So I do it because I actually like doing laundry. I like folding. It's yeah. kind of like, um, you know, sometimes you like to do those tasks that are just kind of you know, doesn't require thinking, right? Yeah. You shut your brain off. But like, I don't put any of her clothes away because like, first of all, this is a, I guess a sub thing of my pet peeve list, but you girls have way too much freaking clothes. Like guys, <laughs> very like, like we have dress shirts, we have t-shirts, we have polos. Like you can either hang them, you can either fold them. They all fold in the same process. You can put them <laughs> There's no way to fold girl stuff like properly. It's like weird tees, like the fabric's always crazy. Um, and it, like, it, it's just impossible to find like specific homes for them. So I guess in a sense, when it comes to putting laundry in the, its right place, I'm kind of like, I have a certain way to fold the towel, right? She folds a, yeah. a different way. It doesn't fit in the thing the right way. <laughs> laundry <laughs> is your thing, man. Yes. So I guess in a sense, like I kind of have the same pet peeve as you do when it to, I guess, laundry, but like. Yeah. Mine but just yeah. carries out through everything. Yeah. <laughs> just just well, it makes sense because you do design work. So that that's very consistent in your, in, in your, in your day to day life. So, um, but yeah, uh, 
I, I feel you, Alex. I, I understand. I know. I know the struggle. I, I think it's. I think that there'd be so many things that we like that certain areas or certain things. It doesn't matter where anything goes. You know, like there's there's probably somewhere like, oh, I don't care about that. But there's we each have our own thing. I, mean, like, I can throw back, in like your back wall. Yeah, it's completely organized, right? As we speak. Oh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I got it. I like things looking pretty you know i had i got those but those are file folders who knows what's in the folders yes. and you know it's not in date order and it's not in quickbooks and you know well, i mean my, that's why they're there but pet peeve of mine is rose gold so i'm sorry no, <laughs> 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 he said on the, on the um, facebook post it was like what's your favorite color and i wrote purple and rose gold <laughs> yeah i saw that i was just like oh immediate throw up but anyways <laughs> <laughs> you're really yelling today billy yeah okay yeah yeah and uh my turn here i know you just gave yours with the oh, whole okay. we just i keep adding in ones no like i keep adding in ones when you bring up stuff you know yeah. Pet, you look right. antsy to get. You keep looking antsy yeah, this to get. One, this one's very <laughs> near, near to my heart because we're walking into that season, right? I, pet peeve, hate. I love warm weather. I love mm -hmm. spring. I love summer. I falls okay. Winter's terrible, right? No matter <gasps> what part yeah. of the country you're in, okay. I like and winter. When people start posting about like the pumpkin spice and I can't wait to wear scarves <laughs> and you know sweater weather and like because not only does that bring cold but it brings the stupid Hallmark movies that I have to co consistently watch <laughs> that are the same same movie different time of the season same actor same plot actors Somewhat, yeah. We, I could, I, that could be a whole another pet peeve of mine is Hallmark movies, right? I, I mean, I'm sorry, honey. I, I know you love watching them. Uh, They're dumb. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is going. This is a bit. This one is, is like domino spiraling into more and more pet peeves of yours. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, it's just I, like I said. I, I have a bunch of them, and to nail it down to five was really tough. But like pet peeve. People posting like, "Oh, I can't wait for fall and wait for my, you know, to drink my hot latte like while I wear my sweater." Like, no, fall brings winter. Winter sucks. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind winter anymore. I, I actually used to hate. I did too. I, I mean, and I grew up in Baltimore. I think you know the weather's not too um, different. Uh, I think it's 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 more of a southern feel. But I think uh, I. I I started to really actually enjoy the cold and the, um, and the snow, that but no that's, that's okay. You know, says no one, me, <laughs> no one. I'm good. I'll go. No, not for very long. I think it's also because we have mild winters and, um, and I, I kind of like putting a big coat and some boots on, like you said, I mean, that's the, the girl, that's what we like, sweater weather. You know? I mean, well, because that's because you guys have so much more options when it comes to clothes. Like I said, yeah. guys, are very, it's, it, uh, you don't get much deviation, right? It's like, okay, we get to wear some sweaters, right? But like, I would much rather wear like a, like a, just a hoodie. Like that, I mean, I guess that's the one thing I like about, uh, is falls. I get to wear. Well, there you go. But, but so you I take mean, something positive from it. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, the main reason too is just like I, I don't understand the the premise and the idea that like pumpkin spice everything is like the best thing. Like pumpkin spice is terrible. I'm here to just say <laughs> I, it. like, it's terrible. Like I'm not. I haven't. I never even. I don't even if I, if I ever tried it. I don't think I never. No, it's um, a waste of even time. Had it. Don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> nah, it's, Maybe it's the idea that you, the pet peeve is, is, is creating something that was created by a, a company, a product, and, and that was, has literally overcome the fall. There is now an, a drink from Starbucks that is what fall represents now. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I mean, like, because no, you don't eat pumpkin at all the entire year. You know, like, like pumpkin roll. Oh, no, no. During the year, yeah. But pumpkin roll is. I like pumpkin roll. I don't like pumpkin roll. No, pumpkin is just. Like, the only thing I like a pumpkin for is to carve it and for Halloween. Okay. Other than that, okay. like, 
like uh, I'm not a pumpkin fan at yeah. all. So yeah, a little but pumpkin a little, roll isn't really pumpkin. Yeah, that much. yeah, pumpkin you're right. You're right. But. So moral of the story is, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you just don't. If you're gonna post something about fall, just hide me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna put me in a mood <laughs> or or winter <laughs> don't yeah. do fall or winter like i like um, i love christmas though like i love christmas yeah like, i love that, i know that week like the that there's like three weeks leading up to christmas are just awesome but then like that like after christmas like right. it's, what do you have to look forward to just well my birthday yeah. that's true that's true yeah. January 10th. Really? My, I, you know, I would say too about the winter. I, I've, I've, I've had the pet peeve that it doesn't snow around Christmas time. I would really like if it's going to be cold, if it's going to be in the thirties and it's going to be cold, just snow. So it's pretty like just yeah. have some white on the ground. So it's pretty yeah, if it's going to be that cold. Yeah. Not a lot of snow. I don't need like three feet of snow. <laughs> like that good, like, like six inches of snow, right? That's going to nicely and, cover everything. Yeah, I agree. And here my cousin, my cousin in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan gets eight feet, you know, and has to carve themselves out of their front door to get outside. This is, the they're story. probably laughing at us. <laughs> like the, Laughing. The further you go up north, the more snow you're going to get. So I, this that's, is true. Pendling is fine for me. I'm not going to go any further north than where we're at. This is like, true. So what about you? Next, next on your list. Okay, I'm going to go with, um, go back to the phones. I have a pet peeve uh, when, obviously, I feel like if you're in in a conversation with somebody, or you're spending time with somebody, you shouldn't be on your phone, right? You shouldn't be texting other people. It's a distraction. It's, they, they're not really present uh, in the conversation if they're having texting or they're on social media and all that. And they shouldn't be, obviously. I mean, I, it doesn't happen to me often, but even just somebody as you're talking going on their phone and doing stuff like you are right now and no, i'm kidding i'm just kidding well, i'm trying to make sure there's no one commenting so i'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding i because feel because we, if we put you in the production room there's no talk. oh yeah if you're in you're in i no, i think it's just also it's like if if you're if you're going to have to do something, I'll say, Oh, excuse me for one second. I just have to text somebody, you know, and just say, Hey, I'm just going to text them back or ha 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 is really funny. I'm going to do this. And I like to at least say um, that I'm doing it instead of just sitting there. Cause it almost looks like you're bored or uh, so I think it's, it's doing that. Um, and there are people that are, there's people that 100% don't want to be there and they are <laughs> doing it on purpose, but it's also about, somebody like you call someone and you just need to go over something really quick on the phone and they text you back and say oh hey what's up and it's like well i called just like well i called can you call me back or you know it's just so much easier over the phone and then they're like oh just text me and it's like well if i would have texted you in the first place but sometimes there are quick easy things that you can text and not call so i kind of have a pet peeve of both <laughs> when you call for something that could have been texted and you text about something that you need to talk about. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I get, I get, I get where your, I get where your thought process was. Yeah. I mean, I mean, when it comes to texting, you can ask Megan, she'll tell you she hates texting me because I am the king absolute king of one word answers. Like, uh, like you'll ask me this big, long question. I'll be like, okay, <laughs> or yes or i'll see you later like nothing right. like but on the phone we get you know we get to then we get to follow up with more and more and more yeah yeah oh yeah and she i'm not a phone person i do not like talking on the phone for extended periods of time um so i i can but like you said i have run into that too like you'll talk with a client and you'll be like hey i need to talk to you real quick about this project or whatever and then they're like oh just text me about it like i really can't right. like first of all like there's information that legal legal issues, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um and so but yeah um but going along with yours i was just thinking about it um because i'm really big on like the moment right that the moment that you're in um, and it goes like to like, you know, like you said about like when you're eating, like when you're at dinner with somebody and somebody's on their phone, it just shows like a sign of like, Hey, I don't care about anything that's going on in your life. But, um, but like being in the moment, like when people are like, 
Like I get like taking pictures of events and stuff. Oh, like that. that's a good one. Mm -hmm. But like at some point you got to put your phone down and experience that event that you're in because like mm -hmm. you're never, you might never experience that again. Right. Like it's mm -hmm. great. That you can relive it like through video, but there's thousands of people probably at that event that are videoing that posted on Facebook mm -hmm. that you can go watch it again and again and again. Right. So, oh yeah. Yeah. Seeing so, people, like you said, like what, seeing people that are just either taking pictures of everything or, or even videoing the whole thing. How many times did you really go back and, you know, watch these videos over and over and, 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 and look at these photos? I mean, there's, there's thousands of photos in our, in our 6,000 photos. And it's like, I like the idea of having something to look back and say, I did this or have a memory or, you know, we print them out and stuff and obviously social media, but you're right. I mean, I think, um, being present is is huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Sure. I mean that's a good one. I, I like I like that one because that is a, you know, when when you're eating dinner, we tend to, you know, put our phones like away, or sometimes we'll even leave them in the car because we don't necessarily need to be on them, right? Because right. you, you want to experience that moment. I think that's the biggest right. thing. Is you want to be present in the moment, and right. you definitely want whoever you're with to be present in the moment because it's, right. yeah. So, um, right. I think my next one, one is probably going to make you mad. Uh oh. going to make most probably women mad that uh -oh. I'm going to say. Yeah. So I pet peeve is a day and it's Valentine's day is oh. a huge issue with Valentine's day. And it okay. comes from the simple fact, and it's probably what most guys say is like, well, if I can't show you love 364 days, like what's what's the big deal, right? And so mm -hmm. like, I just hate the whole idea that we uplift this holiday. That's not even a holiday. It's made up, right, by <laughs> a company so they could sell more, <laughs> right? So like, and Hallmark, right? You already right. know my beef with Hallmark. I already have a beef with their channel. Grinds now. my gears. <laughs> But Valentine's Day, I think it's just fake. I, I think, you know, it's an excuse to buy more crap that we don't need. And you already know how I feel about that, being in the financial services field, buying crap you don't need. It's not a good right. idea. Um, it's true. But I don't know what you feel about Valentine's Day. I'm sure you love it. I'm sure you love the going I out. Enjoy, I enjoy the romance, sure. But I think even – I think when you've been in, in relationships and, and, you know, even – in ones that you feel like you don't really need things or you don't need to be, you know, you don't need to do things. Um, it's hard because there's, you know, when you, when you kind of have great um, events and dinners and maybe little gifts and affection throughout the year, it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's just any other day. You know, that's when I look at it, you know, it should just be any other day. Um, but there are people who aren't romantic. You know, there are a lot of guys and, and women but that uh, that day is is your your holy day to get it's just super to be cool. to be romant to be romance that day. Uh, but I I've you know been fortunate to get that that throughout the year. But I think uh, I could go either way. I you know even when I was when I was married, uh, my ex husband and I just didn't really like the crowds and the you know going out on Valentine's Day. And I think a lot of our a lot of the public started going out like before after you know the weekend like not on valentine's day so then when you try to do that everybody else is doing it and we would just make dinner at home so I yeah mean. yeah like i always uh, and i want to ask this question because you're a female right and so um would you rather get flowers on a random day or get flowers on days that you're getting you are expecting to get flowers or a gift uh definitely random day i think a surprise is always nice and i think it's it's more thought out than than obligate ob, what is it obligatory obligatory yeah. obligation yeah uh yeah i mean i think you know i think i've there's been anniversaries and there's been you know birthdays and there's been things and valentines and it's just you're right i think it gets it, it gets a little over overdone here you know yeah. my birthday it's actually funny because my birth so you got christmas and then you got my birthday and then you got valentine's day like equally so you know i'm 
I get all my. <laughs> well, I was going to say uh, that that's a silent pet peeve of mine is that Megan's birthday is on the 14th of December, which 10 day or 11 days later is Christmas. Right. right? So right. You got to separate the gifts, guys. You got to do it. Or you got to do it. It's you can't let you, they can't be overshadowed. You know, the no. birthday is the birthday and the Christmas yeah. is the Christmas. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, what's what's next on the docket for you? What, what's your next? I, I, I got. I got one more. I got one more. And uh, it's, it's, I think it's just, it happened uh, recently and there's some changes that I made in my life and we talked about it last week, but um, you know, making excuses and people not taking responsibility for the things that, that they do, whether it's professional or personal or relationships. I just think it bothers me that people, and I know it, it, it there's a lot that goes into it, but um, I don't want to hear excuses and I don't think anybody does. And I don't think that it's respectful. I think it's sort of disrespect in a sense. And it's just a pet peeve when people want to just make excuses. And, um, you know, I mean, there's, there's, there's other things of, of, in a sense of, of how you say things or how you do things. And you're trying to skirt around, obviously, um, you know, apologies and whatnot. I, I, one of my biggest pet peeves of the apology is the non-apology. I'm oh. sorry if, I'm sorry if you feel this way. Or I'm sorry if you, like I learned one time years ago that it was a non-apology and ever since it bothers me so bad. Yeah. <laughs> when people just say, I, I'm good? sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I did this and I hurt you. Even if you don't agree or you don't understand, you know, it doesn't, it's, um, the non-apology is okay. But yeah, just making excuses and Yeah, I, I mean that 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 is a good one. Like I, I ran into that situation yesterday. In a professional sense, yeah. Yeah, in the professional sense, I I messed up. I dropped the ball in a situation. Um and I you know, the client, I just reached out to him and I was like, Listen, I, I messed up, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make it right. And that's all I said. I said, I'm just gonna make it right. Like whatever I need to do to make it right. Um yeah. you know, and, I, yeah. I did that. I mean, I, I did that. And it was, and this is why I'm telling you that I, I tried not to do it. And I can say that it's a pet peeve because I've tried 200% not to do it myself anymore because I did. I used to do it all the time. I used to make up stuff or make excuses or, oh, this is why it's late or, oh, this. And uh, obviously I try not to do those things anymore, you know, like do, do certain things. But I had um, a client that I was working with and the, my response time was, slow. Um, I, you know, I wasn't busy or I was doing other things and I would get back a little slower. I overpromised and under delivered. And I think that, um, we both knew, but it didn't come up until after the fact and, um, everything was great. The look, you know, the, 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 the designs were great. The printing was great. Everything was fine, but that customer service aspect of it and the time. And when I got the email back, it said, I loved everything that you did for me. I, you know, I'm really glad this, 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 but I have to be honest that the response time was not good. There were times where, um, you know, I, I was expecting this or I wouldn't hear back or, and I just said, I literally was like, you're right. You're 100% right. I apologize. And let me make it up to you by giving you free business cards or something. You know, I literally just went and said, Oh, when, when we're doing your business cards, let me give you some free note cards for that because you're absolutely right. And I appreciate all the feedback and I've never been able to do that in my life, you know, I never was like that. I either would come up with some excuse, I'd write a paragraph back. I'd, and yeah, it's yeah. just, yeah, that's why, I, that's why I said what I, what I did. I was just like, you're right. He's like, it's taking longer than I thought. You're right. I'm sorry. I dropped the ball. I'm, I'm going to fix it. And that's all yep. I said. And so that, but like you said, the old me would have been like, well, you know, I dropped the ball because you know, this situation happened in my mm -hmm. life and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, no, they don't want to hear that. And it's just like, but that's not just in the professional sense. That's like in relationships, right? That's in right. just friendships. That's in normal right. everyday life. Like it's like, you know, and, you know, politics and stuff like that. It's like, no, don't blame the other side. Like this is the situation where we're going to yeah. do it, right? But um, mm -hmm. I think the last one that I have is something that we've talked about before. And it's more on a serious note, right? I've been funny for the last couple of ones, but this one's more serious. Mm -hmm. um, and it's people that deal in like general terms, right? Like <sighs> everybody is like this or right. that part of the population is always X. And, you know, it, or, you know, this, this side always does that, 
right? You don't ever do this. And it's, mm -hmm. and it, ir and it irks You're the You're always, yeah. Yeah, you always are late or you know, not even late, but like you, you know what I mean? Like dealing mm -hmm. in general blanket statements that no, no, not everybody is like that, you mm -hmm. know, you know, and it just irks me because just for that simple fact, like I, I know you probably feel the same way. It's like general generalizations of just everything. That's not how life is. It, it's oh, not yeah, you. And we've talked about you and I have talked about this and we've we've had some examples, I think, recently, especially with what's going on. Um, and like you said, with, with politics and whatnot. But I think that you really have to not generalize and put people into these bubbles because it's like, oh, all girls are crazy. Oh, all guys are a holes. You know, it's like, no, actually, they're not. And, you know, everyone's everyone has their crazy moments and their, you know, or just say everyone's crazy. Like, don't say it's just girl, you know, or, oh, it's yeah. this type of person. Or, I mean, it's it's putting these, um, you know, like you said, generalizing. I, I that's a huge pet peeve. And I, it's funny that you that you waited blast to that because um, I think we I had had a couple things on Facebook recently where people are you know, out there saying all this is, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then I wrote something and then I got blocked. From <laughs> the comments. Yeah. I, wrote, I literally said that is very generalized and not true. Yeah. Like, so to your I, defense, I actually. Like I'm something. normally not the type of person that call, well, besides washing your, your hands, uh, <laughs> call somebody out. I tend to keep quiet on those types of things. But when I see somebody generalize on either side of things, like, I'm just like, that's a general statement. You can't make general statements, right? right. Like, like you said, like not every, you know, the, there's a stereotype about blondes, right? All blondes are dumb, right? No, right. not all blondes are dumb. There are a lot of yeah. smart, capable. Yeah, and they people. don't always have more fun. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> don't always have more fun, right? Um, <sighs> it's not like that. And life's not like that. We don't deal with blanket statements or generalizations or segments, even segments within populations of Yeah, people. I mean, cultures, like, yeah. Yeah, not like, yeah. Yeah, like you said, cultures. Not everybody in this culture believes this, right? Right. And, and, and so, yeah, I mean, it, it just always, it will always drive me up a wall and it will, and I Are know- Are you generalizing it, there by saying that <laughs> always? Yeah. No, okay. Yes, it will always drive me up a wall when somebody <laughs> generalizes. <laughs> former fashion. always like all like all sports people are jocks and stupid and don't care about anybody else. Or, right. you know like no that's not the case like there's a lot of smart skull you know scholars that played sports right that was just right. they, to be gifted in in an aspect of and like not all drama people that are in like drama class or uh, or, or sing are you know weak right or whatever right. you want to call it right but that's not how that is. Right. It's right. And I think you're, you've even, you know, cause we've talked about this before. You're even saying that when people say things about us, so like, Oh, you always do this or like, you no, never. <laughs> yeah. Millennials always this, or, you know, or all millennials, but sure. I mean, I think that even when people say things about us or about, you know, if you say something to somebody else, Oh, you always leave like, okay, you always leave the scissors out like now. I mean, it's, it, it, it's not all the time. Like I think people, that is something that people generalize and it, um, you know, maybe they're just, it's that one time, but. Um, yeah, but it's all the time. <laughs> but it's all the time. If it's all the time, it's true. It's not, it. it's a fact. If it's not, <laughs> yes, <laughs> then it's true. <laughs> well, then it's true. I think it's that time. I think it's that time of the show where we, where we, have a millennial meme of the week. Is it that time? Millennial meme. <laughs> we we get like a jingle. That. Yeah, we need like a jingle or a graphic that we can pop up where, I mean, millennial meme. if you're listening on one of the other platforms, iTunes and stuff like that, you won't be able to see it, but you'll be able to hear if we have a jingle. <laughs> yeah. So if we have a jingle and you go like, beep, 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 millennial meme, and then you have to go, because I did actually post some on our, Inst you know, we've been posting them a little bit on Instagram too and getting some, but I will post this up. I thought it was great. Um, and it's one of my pet peeves. So yeah, 
when someone's when someone's chewing loudly and you're trying trying summoning the strength, the strength not, to not kill them. Yes. I mean that is a sorry we jumbled this one. I think it's spelled there is a, some spelling errors, which I'm sure are some people's pet peeves is to have things, but I thought I, it was the only one that I could get that looked, you know, uh great that went with my it does I'm literally having my woo moment of not wanting to kill someone for chewing loudly. So I thought yeah, it was but, appropriate. But have you ever wondered that do you chew loudly and you don't know it? Maybe you don't hear it? No. I've actually asked sometimes, like, oh, can you hear me chewing? Because, no, I think it's about recognizing. I just think that there's people. And, again, I don't want to say that it's selfishness. I want to say that it's being aware of other people and knowing that things – I don't, oh, here's a, oh, we should have talked about this one. Burping loudly, especially women. I have a pet peeve of women who burp really loud in public. I just, it's a pet peeve. I, I can't burp pretty much. Like, unless I had like so much caffeine and like, soda. Is it, is it no, I can't. I, no, I'm not <laughs> mad that I can't burp. So I'm mad at pe women who burp. <laughs> I think it's not ladylike, but I think it's just, I don't know. I mean, and there are people that do it to be funny. There's girls that like think it's funny and they burp. It's not an accident. I mean, it's like, bleh, like they're belching. And I just like, I, you know, but I, no, I can't do it, but no, I'm not upset about it. But, um, <laughs> but no, I, I, you know, I, I've, I think there's just people that just do things and they're not, they don't know that it maybe bothers other people. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, definitely. But anyways, guys, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Of <laughs> millennial right we actually did yell a lot today which is we did today we did definitely yell we accomplished that check that off the box yell today about some random stuff that probably no one cares about but no we care about <laughs> <laughs> right no there's probably some people that watch that had some definite uh probably are maybe not as relaxed as they once were because they were thinking about their pet peeves but um but yeah we're sending I people off to have a <laughs> the stress levels of the afternoon now, guys. Sorry the day, about that. Well, the three day weekend, so you guys have fun <laughs> time to relax, right? So <laughs> after but, this, oh, my gears are grinding. But I actually have a surprise announcement. Mel doesn't even know <laughs> yet, right? Next Thursday, we will be having our first episode of What's Brewing with Billy. Yay! Be at a coffee shop that I'll announce. Here in, here in a little bit, but uh, we'll be having a, a, a What's Brewing with Billy. We'll be tasting some coffee. We'll be learning about a new business. Um, so cool. now you have to free up Thursday a little bit. Um, I so don't know. I have my retreat. We should have talked about this. It's such a great surprise. My Leadership Harrisburg retreat is next Thursday and Friday. We'll see. We, we might have, have to reschedule this or you can do it. I think you're, I think you can do it. <laughs> be capable. I don't know. We'll see. I think <laughs> I think but, you can. Oh, um, but I do want to announce that we do have somebody lined up, so that's good news. Uh, so, and we have a couple more lined up, and we'll—I'll be definitely letting you know about that. Mel, when's your next episode of Why Not Mel? Wine, wine with Mel. Why not? Yell yeah, with Mel. I'm yeah. not sure. I think I don't know. I might be—I might be yelling soon. You got me all riled up today with these oh, pet God. peeves. God, you're not. I don't oh. have one yet, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, we really do appreciate you jumping on today with us. We went a little bit longer, but that's fine. But, um, guys, if if you missed us, right, you can always check us out on all the other platforms that we're on. Go like our our uh, our, our page. We have a contest going right now, correct, right? So, Mel, tell them a little bit about that, and then we'll get off here and enjoy the rest of our, our, our week. Well, if we hit 1,000 followers and, you know, is this on Facebook or Instagram? I'm not sure. Maybe it's a combination. Billy is going to shave his beard. If we, 10,000. <laughs> no, I said 1,000. Okay. We're at 200. So this is, an, this is a big dream here, but we are going to be giving away some really cool prizes throughout September. I'm trying to set this goal for the end of September to get us more followers. And right now we have a free bottle of wine from the uh, wine shop at home that Julie had at Billy's house. We're going to have one here at mine in October. And I thought it would be really great to be able to give one of these bottles away to our, our listeners and our followers and our friends here. So if you go to Instagram and the Facebook posts, uh, we're, we're obviously um, posting on both, but you can tag two friends 
You just want to follow our Instagram, follow our Facebook, and you're entered to win. So yeah. we will pick that each week. That's just this week. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll do that this weekend. We can do that. Um, yep. Or maybe we should have done it today, but we'll, <laughs> we'll do it. And I know that on Instagram, I saw four or five people had, had already um, entered. So one of them is going to be our winner, hopefully. And then next week, you know, keep checking back on social media for, for our, our, our prizes and stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Like, not like, just wine, you know, not just wine. It's going to be. Yeah. We're, we're giving us something, guys. We're trying to gain your love. Bribe you. <laughs> we're trying to win, a, win your love. So, um, but anyways, go check us out on all the other platforms. I got it up here. Um, you know, Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes. I mean, there's a bunch of them, right? Definitely. I know I missed a couple, but anyways, it's that time of the show where we do have to leave you guys. I know you want us to be on the entire day, but we have to <laughs> things. Um, but Mel, right? Leave us with some lasting advice for the weekend. Something that you just want to, that, that you wanted to say. I would say that, you know, when, when, when you're doing these pet peeves that we talked about, if you, if you are a culprit, you know, maybe keep in mind, um, other people's, <laughs> so your other people are around you and your surroundings. And I think it's a good, I think it's good topics for us to talk about because I think we all do things that we don't know that it might bother other people. Um, you know, unless they say it or unless it causes something that I think it's just, uh, you know, trying to be a little bit more aware of other people and putting other people first. And, um, you know, I think it'll, it'll be a win-win for all of us if, we uh, lessen our pet our pet peeves. <laughs> yeah, it's just more. <laughs> but I had fun today. Was good. We have a good good time and always good conversation. Awesome. Um, good. Yeah, no, awesome. I mean, like I said, guys, we really do appreciate uh, everybody that jumped on today. Um, make sure if you didn't uh, comment who you are, where you're from. Also, comment some of your pet peeves if you didn't get a chance. Please, we want to see those, and we'll, we'll definitely uh, shout with chat with you on that we'll yell about that as well so but anyways guys like always next friday tune in set your notifications 12 o'clock we'll be yelling about something else but like always have a great weekend make some good memories with your family and we will be talking to you soon bye